Hey there, friends. I hope all of you are having a great Friday. Uh, it's, uh, I'm taking kind of a, a garden break because it's a bit overcast and not quite warm enough to get out into the garden and plant my Zone 7 uh, cool water vegetables uh, like kale and broccoli and things like that. So I thought what we would do is sit here and take advantage of this awesome Grandin Road uh, seasonal catalog. Just look at that baby. Is that just not lots of absolutely gorgeous color? Hello spring. Yes sirree. We are ready, ready, ready. I uh, processed a little bit. It's kind of my practice to process cardboard every day packaging and then that way I have a really nice stash of it and I kind of never run out. Um, I don't, um, I, I prefer to keep, um, I prefer to process the packaging as it comes into my life. So I do um, two and a half by three and a half art trading cards. I do bookmarks. Um, I do four by six um, substrates that I put into my flow journals. So, you know, I have a plan for, I have a plan for the packaging and that's, that's always a good way to kind of start things out. I have, uh, I have turned off my filming light on this side because it was very glary on this magazine. Look what Miss T sent me. I was so excited. This is some small talk. You guys know how much, much, much I love this. And honestly, I was like at the end of any kind of, um, of verbiage and I was just so excited to get this. Thank you, Miss T. She sent along a very happy package. If you guys um, probably don't know, but my son had um, a really bad health scare. He got a fungal form of pneumonia and he's immune compromised anyway. And then he had sepsis and then he had a stroke. And that's why I have not been on the YouTube very much, but I figured, um, you know, I'll just let you guys know that. And please do send, uh, send some love his way. Uh, he got out of the hospital two weeks ago and has had a very difficult recovery because his significant other now has COVID. And <laughs> it's just been, um, ah, you know, it's just been a, a, a tough time for them. But, you know, um, I'm so glad to report that he... He did survive, and that's kind of what we're focusing on. Let's start. Um, let's start processing this Grandin Road catalog. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make some chippies today, so we kind of got that going on. And I also, I'm going to process some of this into pages for Flow Journal. So we got a couple of things going on here. Let's just take some random pages, and I'll kind of show you what I look for as I am as I am deciding on magazine pages for flow journals. I like to capture an image. Now, to me, this is a super interesting image. So you've got a choice here. You can do this, you can do this. Um, you're, you're looking at folding it like this to accentuate whatever you've chosen. The next thing that I really do like to do, and y'all are going to laugh because I'm going to get out my, my big fat scissors here, is I like to kind of trim off this white space. It doesn't really add to the piece, and I think it makes it look kind of neater and cooler when we trim off that white space. I'm going to lay this to the side because we are not finished with this. Now, let's kind of look at this one and say oh yeah I really love this little image right here and I also like the words that say make your own sunshine so when this goes into a flow journal and flow journals of course are designed uh, with a wrap binding so you can easily slip these pages out of your flow journal I do have a couple of flow journals for sale over at the shop so if you guys are interested I always list my Etsy store in the description box below so you can check check those out and they're very spring kind of themed um, flow journals so there we go you know we've got this one and that one's perfect just like it is so I'm going to set that to the side Let's kind of look at what we have here. Now, I like this image right here. So, I think what we'll do is kind of pull this one out. And remember, we keep the whole magazine page. 
to me, that is interesting. That is, uh, it's not just uh, imagery and things like that, but it is informative. Uh, you know, there are usually words on here that you can use for mixed media piece and that kind of thing. Um, let's take, see, these are full pages, which are just awesome. So you don't have to cut the white, um, the white border off, right? So that's really sweet right there. All right, we're going to stop right there because we want to finish these pages and then we want to do a few um, of our chippies, our mixed media minis, whatever you want to call them. And usually these kind of catalogs will have a nice, um, nice bit on the back that might have some wording on it that you might want to use, but I want to use this whole thing. So what I'm saying is just kind of flip through here and see about, um, see about words that you might want to use. Always consider like the image and am I, am I going to want to do that? Um, you know, am I going to want to use that image? And then we can kind of look here. Okay, I'm just seeing a lot going on here. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm not cut it out. I'm going to tear it out. Also see a lot going on here. So just take those couple of magazines. Again, I don't keep large stashes of of magazines around. The Grand and Rude came in the mail day before yesterday. So I'm using that baby up. Uh, I like... Um, uh, I, I like small stashes because that's just the way that I roll. It, it, it is the way that I like to create. I like to get it in the mail and go ahead and process it. Now, you can see that this came out really nicely. So what I'm going to do is make a page out of that. And that will just be a mini page. I love all of the... All of the goings on right here, this will not fold and make any kind of good page in a flow journal. So let's work with this to do our chippies. And let's just kind of scope it out here. With chippies, uh, you know, they're they're different sizes, uh, usually made with food packaging. Sometimes you can take advantage of this pattern that you see in the in the um now this is a kleenex box and it's already been sprayed with alcohol and rubbed down all that good stuff you know that we like to do now just to keep nice clean clear spaces and what i want to do here is just kind of you know I'm, I'm utilizing these greens i'm utilizing these blues and i think what i'll do is just chop this off right here and i'm gonna go ahead and glue it down. Let me grab my glue stick. If you guys missed the video about my pen caddy, you know, calling my pen caddy, I'll put a link. Um, I'll put an iCard up top so you can kind of see what that was all about. I hope that I've kept in frame. I really wasn't paying a lot of attention. We got a doggy yesterday. He's a bloodhound and he um, is six months old. We're very tickled to have him in our family. He is a cuddler. He is a snuggler. Her na his name is Seuss, S-U-E-S-S, -S -S, like Dr. Seuss. He is a real sweetheart. All right, let's choose. So you see how the colors kind of came together on that, and I like that. Let's choose something from this awesome uh, Miss T Small Talk. Um, let's see. I love believe in yourself. I think that that is very appropriate. The thing about creating chippies, you guys, is to not spend a whole lot of time on them. Just do something super quick. These make excellent pieces to put in happy mail, uh, make a great addition to a birthday card, a greeting card, an anniversary card, anything like that. We're still kind of using our backgrounds here. And I think I want to do this. We'll go ahead and put on, you know, on the back of them, you can write a sentiment. You can do whatever you want. You can write a journal prompt or something like that. 
I changed my mind about this one. I always look on <laughs> look on both sides, you know, of a scrappy piece of paper and decide which one I want. Isn't that beautiful with that beautiful verdant kind of green here, that lime green and the white flower right there. I think that's super pretty. All right, let's choose a word. Now, sometimes you might want to put a border. You know, that's kind of up to you. And I kind of do like that. So I'm I'm going to just slap dash together a little border right here. Cut off the bottom. And there we go. So things have been really, 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 really um, in fluid motion here lately, of course, with my son's illness and then his uh, significant other's illness and uh, adopting a puppy and just life changes and um, but you know it's great to um, you know you're experiencing a lot of contrast if you're familiar with the teachings of Abraham Hicks you know that contrast is part of life and contrast leads to contrast leads to uh, clarity and we can't get too caught up in that um, can't get too caught up in that contrast and think we aren't going anywhere because we're always getting ready to be ready for something wonderful. Ready to be ready for something wonderful. Isn't that just pretty? It's got the, you know, the journal right here with a beautiful pen, a nice glass of water with lemon. Um, I'm not sure what those flowers are, but isn't that pretty? That's very, 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 um, inspiring very inspiring for me so let's uh switch back over here to our small talk um i like this one never give up and we're going to put that at the top because i don't want to you know i don't want to um diffuse this image right here okay let's take a num now this is kind of an art trading card size i'm just kind of trimming those up as I go along, remember the idea is to flow, 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 flow along. I like that. And this is going to be like one of those things, mm, you know, but now I have this. And so, hmm, I might want to take advantage of that. Let's kind of get out this other. Aren't those puppies cute? Let's do that. And these are <laughs> That's sweet. These are pillows, but any kind of pillow imagery sure does make stellar sweet imagery to go on a little mixed media piece. Now because we have the blue going on here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut off the part that says puffs plus lotion and I'm just going to use that baby right there maybe up here yeah that looks good I think I want to put something under that so let's reach back over here mm. I think I kind of like this so we're just going to Kind of clip that out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You guys know that I do recycle crafts. Oh my goodness, that's darn sweet right there, y'all. So our buddy, our new buddy, lived in a pen with about 18 other dogs. Uh, luckily, he had had his uh, part of his vaccinations, and um, he's also, I think when you stay curious, because that kind of epitomizes our, our new buddy. He's very curious about everything. Yesterday, he had to learn to climb stairs. I, I don't think steps, uh, the steps from the deck. And so he learned to do that, which was awesome. 
he learned that you can't go through the sliding glass door, that it bumps your head and it's not pleasant and you gotta wait on somebody to open it and <laughs> that was sweet. Okay, we're gonna cut out this sweet picture of this terrier right here. And just use that. And we can just mount this on something pretty. Mm -hmm. Me too, like this. We're gonna cut that out like that. You know, this is just kind of a sweet little background piece. And we'll just do that. I like this time of year because I'm also getting seed catalogs. You know, I really do. I love to, of course, I take advantage of them because I'm gardening this year, hardcore gardening this year. And so it's nice to be able to read about what I'm planting. And I don't usually buy seeds from, I usually don't buy seeds from seed catalogs. You know, usually, well, I was buying them from Southern states, but all of our Southern states uh, well, the one that was closest to me went out of business. Oddly, they've put a BMX bike track where that used to be. Odd, isn't it? Okay, I've got a couple long-ish pieces here, but they're fun to work with as well. But we've got our border all set to go. So what should we do? To, for simplicity's sake and to keep our flow, let's just choose a nice long quote fall in love with as many things as possible. And then same thing for here. You know, we've already got a background. Wonderful place to just mount, um, you know, an inspirational quote, sentence, there we go. All right, we've got one more to do. Again, I'm gonna kind of take advantage of this background. And then we'll work on the pages that we have going over here. I'm going to keep the background because I really like it. I also kind of super dig, I super dig this. Now these are some sort of new kind of yard decor. They're balls. You know, probably a ceramic kind of thing. Probably not made in the United States, so... But it's a sweet idea, isn't it? It's a fun idea to look at. Yeah, I really like that. I think I'll put it right here. And then we'll just choose a quote. And then we're ready to move on to a few other things here. Let's choose a quote. Live, create, tell the story. Kind of love that. All right, so we're all done with chippies, and we just did a few right here, so let's move this off. Next thing that we want to do is finish up our pages. Now, these are the pages that I just tore out of the magazine. This one is really sweet, you know, growing plant. Um, growing plants, let's see what we might like to to do here. I, I really, to me, growing things are just, you know, very simple and very beautiful. Um, I like live simply, so I think we'll use that. I do like to whack these quotes into live simply. All right, let's kind of take a look at this and Let's do Give Generously. Oh my goodness, that is just beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm thinking of, now sometimes I will take these things and put an image here, like I did on this, you know, just cut out an image and kind of lay it on here. So let's kind of go back here. And, oh, okay, so we've got this. Jesus reminds me of the decor and this beautiful cafe called Chit Chat. And it is in Orange, New Jersey. And it is just 
Awesome. Kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland decor. Okay, so we're going to let that be right there. I'm also going to take advantage of this verbiage that says happily ever after. And we're going to use that. Also, when you're working with magazine pages like this, <clears throat> I mean, you've made a stellar piece right here. But you might want to flip it this way and, you know, just use anything else that you might have to fill up the page. Because part of your image is going to be upside down. I love upside down things. I love things that are out of context because I think it... I think things like that leave um, your imagination room to kind of wander. I like things like that. Okay. Now, I think we'll leave that one like it is. Isn't that pretty? All right. We've got a couple more over here. And then I need to get on with my gardening for today. So we've got this, which I really do like. Now remember, this is the page that we cut out that says, Make Your Own Sunshine. So I know there's not much I want to do with this. I do want to put a word or a quote right here. And um, let's see what we want. Oh, I love this. Start each day with a grateful heart. It's perfect. Find your own sunshine and start each day with a grateful heart. Is a sweet little piece to just do some journaling about right there. Um, I really like the way that the balls are kind of hanging down here. I like this whole image going on. I want to even it out. Give it a little definition by kind of breaking up the page a little bit. But see, doesn't it look cool? It looks very... um. Kind of, um, I don't know. I like it. Okay, so we're going to do that. And, and I like this. And then the cool thing is that you can take this page and you can, you know, you can jazz it up even more if you want to. There we go. All right. So we've got this one to go, and then we'll be done. I've got this purple border right here. So I think that this will be like this. Today is full of possibilities. I want to put something right here. So let's just do you know, a small, colorful piece. Let's see what we got left. Remember, we just used a couple of pages. Hey, we found the perfect thing. You know, and then you've got that whole, like, magazine to play with. I think I'm going to make it round. And don't be afraid, you know, don't be afraid to take things out of context or flip them around or make them look like something else or be something else. It's your art. You can do whatever you want to with it. All right? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's look at what we got done today. And we really did not, I mean, it, it took no time at all. Um, we should always start each day with a grateful heart. And it is a good thing to make your own sunshine because a lot of times life is not going to throw sunshine at you. Your happily ever after is totally dependent on you and your attitude. It makes you feel good to give generously to live large, to do nice things for people when they don't expect it. It's a wonderful thing to live simply, um, to really appreciate and be grateful for all of the blessings that you have, even though sometimes they don't quite seem like blessings. <laughs> if you kind of look into the grand scheme of things, everything is simple and everything is a blessing. 
Today is full of possibilities. I know sometimes it doesn't seem that way, but every single day is an opportunity to learn, to grow, to be more, to live, create, and tell your story. Remember, throwing kindness around like confetti is a good thing. If you fall in love with as many things as possible, you'll always have something to explore. Choose to shine. We can all, every single day, we can choose to shine or we can choose to not shine. Up to you. Staying curious is so important these days. Staying curious keeps our minds active, our bodies active. Remember to always try and learn something new every single day. Never give up. Make it happen. And more than anything, y'all, believe in yourself. You are full of possibilities. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.